everyone, I'm Eddie V. Welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to be talking about the good and bad of trucking in the state of New Mexico. Yes, I am approaching Albuquerque, New Mexico right now. It's a little windy here and yes, New Mexico has mountains that I call invincible mountains just because these invincible mountains, especially at night, you can't really tell it's a grade. You're wondering why is the truck slowing down and everything like that. Problem is truck is slowing da uh, down because there's grades and because of these grades the truck slows down what about good in New Mexico well there's really not too much good about New Mexico New Mexico is one of the poorest states of America the roads in some places are terrible especially when you enter the city uh, and the interstates away from the city the roads are okay and the weather year-round is not bad but it could also get some severe weather for example in the winter time, you may think it's a desert and it's going to be nice and warm. No, you got to be careful around these mountain ranges over here, all because there could be ice and snow on the road. And I've actually seen it, especially uh, already happen on this mountain. And trucks have ended up in the ditch because of that, or in the median of the ditch. So yeah, that is what New Mexico is. And also, guys, the fuel prices here are not too bad. They're a little bit more expensive than Texas and Oklahoma, but overall, they're not bad. And as far as DOT, one thing I absolutely do not like about New Mexico is the fact that you have to pay a trip fuel permit. And now what a trip fuel permit is, is for your truck. You got to pay yearly or as you travel through the state of New Mexico. Which, what I find messed up about that is already you, play, you pay already if the taxes on your fuel. Why do you have to pay for another fuel trip permit? Well, that's just the way New Mexico is. I'm just going to have to get used to it like that and yeah you have to pay but it only costs 10 bucks to pay a trip fuel permit yearly in new mexico i don't know why some companies would not want to pay it instead have their drivers drive into the weight station and pay it at the weight station the weight station fees are a lot lot more expensive they only take credit cards and let's say if you travel through the entire state of new mexico with 80,000 pounds you can get close to almost a hundred dollars to pay for one way to cross the entire state because I got pretty close I was like at seventy nine dollars one time to cross 40 from east to west in New Mexico and I wasn't even that heavy I was around seventy two thousand pounds so yeah guys that's that's what I dislike about New Mexico and their way stations are always open which is a bummer all they, all they care is about is the trip permits they're always open 24 7 because they only care about trying to catch people that do not have trip permits about inspections they really don't do any inspections which is I like so when it's time for you to buy a trip permit you just pull in there go to the office and they give you a trip permit that you have to pay for you put it in your truck and you keep going and then, then there is no issues but yeah that is the good and bad of trucking in New Mexico and I don't know if you can see but there's a desert in the view as we're coming down but yeah this is the New Mexico mountain range all right guys thank you for watching this video I'm Eddie V signing off Guys, I'm Eddie V. 2004 6 Jerry Light. Okay, this particular package. Driving a 10 from the 6 Series.